Hello students. In this video lecture, I will demonstrate you virtually the experiment of lipase production by microorganism. So let us see the aim of our experiment will be lipase production, purification and confirmation from microorganisms. For this, you have to prepare for some requirements. You have to collect soil samples of oil contaminated areas or you may use pure cultures that you have provided in your lab, the pure cultures of E. coli. You may also use some unknown bacteria or fungal cultures for this experiment. You have to prepare tributarine or twin 80 broth and agar medium. You have to carry some sterile petri plates, centrifuge, ammonium sulfate and micro pipettes and other requirements for any micro, microbial culture. So let us start the experiment. The principle behind this experiment is lipase production test is based on the lipolytic activity of microorganism. These microorganisms will show a zone of lipolysis. Lipolysis is the clear area surrounding the growing organism when inoculated on nutrient agar medium supplemented with some lipid substrate just like triglyceride, tributarine or twin 80 like compounds. The loss of opacity or the clear area of the agar medium is due to the hydrolytic reaction of uh, enzyme and yielding soluble compounds like glycerol and fatty acids. The ability of microorganism to hydrolyze lipid or fat is accomplished with an extracellular enzyme that is called as lipase. So lipase is an enzyme produced by some microorganism and which is responsible for hydrolysis of lipid components as a substrate and production of glycerol and fatty acids. In this reaction, the uh, triglyceride is degraded or split by the addition of water to form a, to form glycerol and fatty acids, three molecules. The glycerol and fatty acid produced in this reaction are assimilated by organisms for synthesis of fats and other cellular components and production of cellular enzyme adenosine triphosphatase under aerobic condition. So lipase enzyme is an essential enzyme for growth of microorganisms. In this picture, we can understand the importance of lipase in growth and life of microbial activity. These lipase enzymes are used for addition purpose, addition of microorganism to any surface, uh, particularly for incidence of disease and uh, recognition of host. This is also used for synergistic activity between, the, uh, between two microorganisms. The lipid components or the lipase enzyme identify the type of lipid available in the partner organism. This microbial lipase is also used for defense mechanism during the interaction, microbial interaction in any environment. This is also used for recognition of Im immune system between microorganisms and organism and its host. This lipase enzyme is also used for unspecific hydrolysis of lipid components. Different lipid components get hydrolyzed by lipase enzyme uh, during metabolic activities. Lipase enzyme is also essential for growth of microorganism. So lipase is an essential enzyme in the life of microorganisms. Coming to the procedure of experiment, initially we have to screen our bacterial cultures or fungal cultures, whatever we are using in this experiment for primary screening, whether uh, to identify whether the given culture is having potential for production of lipase enzyme. So this, we have to collect soil samples from various uh, oil dumping areas. Uh, these areas may ensure the uh, lipase activity in organisms. Uh, we can uh, go for vehicle gar uh, garages or oil petrol pumps for collection of soil samples make serial dilution of soil samples such as uh, 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power minus 5 dilution, prepare tributarine agar medium and pour in sterile petri plates. By spread plate technique, 
inoculate 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 5 dilution of soil sample in the medium and spread it with the help of spreader. Incubate the plates at 37 degrees for bacteria and if we are using fungal cultures, incubate the plate at 28 degrees centigrade for uh, 2 to 5 days and for bacterial cultures, incubation of 24 hours is sufficient. After incubation, observe the plate for presence or absence of clear zone around the growing colony. For secondary screening, the cultures which are showing positive in the primary screening are subjected for secondary screening. Uh, in this, we have to prepare tributary broth or twin AT broth, uh, transfer the medium into conical flask and inoculate the conical flask with culture samples. Incubate the flask in incubator again for bacteria at 37 degrees for 24 hours and for, for fungal cultures it is 28 degrees centigrade for 2 to 5 days. After incubation centrifuge the culture uh, at 12,000 rpm for 15 minutes. After centrifugation collect the supernatant and discard the pellet. The supernatant carry the crude enzyme that is secreted by the microorganism during its growth. Now prepare tributarine agar or twinity agar medium and pour it into sterile petri plates. With the help of a sterile cork borer, bore wells in the center of uh, petri plate and pour the supernatant that we have collected after centrifugation into the well with the help of pipette. Again incubate the plates for 37 degrees at 37 degrees for 24 hours or 28 degrees for 2 to 5 days. Observe the zone of clearance around the well. For purification of enzyme, the crude enzyme re received after the centrifugation needs purification to remove contaminants because we are saying that it is crude so it contains contaminants. The contaminants may be unspent culture media that is not utilized by the microorganism during its growth or other cellular, uh, cellular components, the soluble components which need to be removed. Grow the positive or highly potential cultures in the broth medium. Uh, for this, you have to prepare a large amount of medium. So, uh, purification process. You need large amount of culture for purification process. Uh, prepare 500, say 500 liter uh, culture broth and inoculate the highly potential cultures in that and after incubation again centrifuge the culture and collect the supernatant. Add saturated ammonium sulfate to the supernatant of the enzyme and uh, get the protein precipitated. This process is called as salting. Salting is actually a purification method that utilizes the reducing solubility of certain molecules that reduces the solubility of protein uh, that is uh, enzyme uh, and creating a high ionic strength in the en environment. So this process is called as salting. So after addition of saturated solution of ammonium sulfate, the lipase enzyme or lipase polypeptide get insoluble in the medium and after centrifugation that insoluble um, protein uh, or polypeptide of lipase enzyme get converted into the pellet. For this, because we are dealing with enzyme, for this if we are having available with cooling centrifuge, use it at 12,000 rpm for 15 minutes. You will get the pellet of lipase polypeptide. For confirmation of enzymatic activity, the lipase polypeptide that we have collected after purification is to be suspended in distilled water or any other suitable buffer for preparation of a solution and this solution is again used as enzyme source for secondary screening that we have done earlier. Uh, we have to prepare agar medium, put cork borer well and uh, fill the well with the pure enzyme. After purification, we are having the pure enzyme with us. The pure enzyme, this pure enzyme, if 
after secondary screening confirms the enzymatic activity so this pure enzyme may further be used for quantitative estimation for protein estimation and uh, further for characterization of protein properties of protein after electrophoretic profile record your observation in, in this table tabulate the primary screening results in this table serial number name or code of the culture if you are already knowing the name of uh, bacteria or fungal cultures you have to directly write down the name or uh, if you are uh, using the unknown cultures or your own isolates which are not get identified yet so put the code of cultures and write down the code of culture here and observation after primary screening that is the presence or absence of clear zone uh, you put plus sign for presence of clear zone or minus sign for absence of clear zone you you may also record as positive single positive double positive or triple positive as least ya low positive moderate positive or highly positive cultures for secondary screening you have to uh, tabulate your result like this serial number name or code of the culture and you have to observe the size of clear zone in millimeter with the help of scale this is the picture showing what you have uh, done in earlier experiment uh, this is petri plate here we are using two bacterial cultures simultaneously in the same medium the first here there is no zone of clearance so this is negative result and this is the clear zone around a growing colony showing positive result so this bacteria is showing positive and this bacteria is showing negative similarly a fungal culture growing in the center of colony showing a clear zone around its growing colony uh, in contrast with the this turbid zone so this is positive fungal culture this picture is showing a secondary screening plate uh, three wells are bored in uh, same petri plate and the culture filtrates after centrifugation are poured in it and after incubation a clear zone of Uh, clearance is observed under the uh, around the well so this is secondary screening showing the positive results this table is showing the microorganisms uh, which are probable sources of lipase production uh, some fungal cultures popularly rhizopus and penicillium species are um, uh, mostly used in laboratories for uh, lipase production similarly yeast cultures and commonly used bacillus species and staphylococcus species as bacterial cultures for lipase production under laboratory and also under industrial production depict the results in the form of number of positive cultures in primary screening if you are using 5 6 bacteria or fungal cultures in a common experiment so out of that how many cultures showing positive for lipase production and how many cultures are showing negative for um, uh, lipase production uh, this is your first result then out of the positive which cultures or which type of which code of culture is showing highly positive moderate positive or least positive this will be your second result and out of the cultures after salting out and confirmation which culture is giving the confirmed lipase production test is depicted here this will be depicted here interpret your result as a source of microorganism from where you are isolating microorganism or you are pro provided with uh, any bacterial or fungal cultures there is uh, these are isolated from which source uh, so interpret your result that microorganisms are probably isolated from this area and they are highly potential for lipase production there should be some precautions during the experiment as we are dealing with microorganisms we, we should know all microbiological laboratory precautions and all inoculations should be done carefully there should be no contamination of other organisms or other otherwise your result will be ambiguous care should be taken while handling the centrifuge centrifuge itself is a machine and it is having its own uh, precaution during handling and uh, maintenance so care should be taken while handling a centrifuge and all observations should be recorded carefully so there should be clarity in your result after completion of experiment so that's all for this thank you very much